If you use TradeStation to trade and you want to save time so you can enter your trades and get on with your life so you don't have to watch your trades all day long like a hawk, then this is the video for you. This is going to be one of our more advanced trainings. So if you're a newer to trading the markets, I'd recommend starting here where I've put together a playlist of foundational trainings first. I'm Robert Roy, a full-time trader and trading coach and founder of WealthBuildersHQ.com. And in this training, I'm going to show you how to set up automated OCO orders utilizing TradeStation. First off, what is an OCO order? In essence, it's a bracket that you put around a position that will cancel one order over the other. In other words, if you put a bracket out there and you have a GTC on the top and a stop on the bottom, if the stock moves down and hits the stop, it will cancel the GTC. If the stock moves up and hits your target, the stop order is canceled and goes away and it does that automatically it's also known as a bracket order now let's jump over to trade station so i can show you how to put this order to work all right so we're looking at an amazon chart it's a five minute chart and under the position graph you can see that i have an amazon stock and i have amazon uh, option i've got one contract of an option so i'm going to go ahead and click on that option left click and it's going to bring up the order bar and it's got the option in there quantity of one is all we own and we're going to go over to this drop down that says OCO OSO. Now we're only dealing with the OCO, right? So we're going to come down here and we're going to go to custom OCO slash OSO. Now it's a bracket OCO order is the one we're going to use. Remember order cancels order, right? One order is going to cancel the other order if it's filled, if it's triggered. We'll click OK. Now it already loaded that option symbol up there. We have one quantity of options, one contract. Now I could set multiple targets in here if I want. We're not going to, we're just gonna set, because we have one contract, we're just going to set one. Now your choices for stops are stop market or stop limit. Let's talk about that for a second. A stop market says stop me out at whatever the price is. In other words, if I say get me out at $4, if the option moves to $4, that's a trigger. It's not an exit, it's a trigger. It says not get me out at $4, it says put a market order in once the option hits $4. If we use a stop limit, it says only get me out at $4. In other words, if it moved to $3.99, you're not out. $3.50, $3, you're still in the trade. Moves back up to $3.99 again, you're still not out. Stop market gets us out now. Stop limit does not. I don't use stop limit orders, but you need to understand the difference between the two. All right, so now we click OK, and it loaded the order up. There's a couple of things that we need to do here. It automatically loaded this order as buy to open. We're going to change that because we own it already to sell to close. And you have to do both of them, sell to close. We're also going to change the duration of both of those as a good till cancel. All I use is day and good till cancel. I don't use the other ones. Day order says four o'clock today comes, not filled, the order's canceled. I don't want that. Good till cancel says until I cancel that order or it is executed, one side or the other, that order stays in force. Right, so we're good now on everything here. We're going to go to this limit order column and we're going to, cha we're going to uh, click on it and change this over to $9. Now, there are some drop downs in here that you could use. I don't, right? Just leave it where it is for now. Don't worry about some of the advanced pieces of this. It's not what I use anyway, personally. My stop is going to be, let's say, five and a quarter. So on this position, we bought it at about six bucks, I think it was. And we did it for the example reason here today. So we're saying if it drops to five and a quarter, get me out of the trade. If it goes up to $9, take me out of the trade. That's the bracket that we just put around our option contract. Once we are done with this, we're going to click send order. Now a message pops up that says, hey, the price is 36% above the last quoted price. Yes, I want to get out at $9 and I got in at six. So it's a 33% higher than the last quote on the price. We understand that we click yes. And I would read these out loud and I'll explain why to you in a moment. Right? And then it says price is 20% below the last quote. And that's because the stop price is lower. Yes, I want to be out lower than it is right now. I'm not trying to get out right this second. I would just place a market order and get out if that was the case. So we click yes. And now you get this order bar that pops up. You want to read this out loud. If you don't read it out loud, just 
visually read it. You use one of your senses only to quantify if this trade is right or not, or qualify if it's right or not. When you read it out loud, you're using your eyes, right? That's one sense. You're using your mouth. That's a second sense. Your ears, you hear it. That's a third sense. And if you're like me, I'm half Italian. I use my hands. That's my fourth sense, right? And I'm sure there are other nationalities that do the same things, right? So sell to close. One, Amazon, July 2022, 118 call at $9 limit. Wonderful. I don't need to read everything that's in here, except I do need to read the good to cancel. I want to make sure that is accurate. You may want to check your account if you have multiple accounts in there. And then I come down and I read the second one. Sell to close, one Amazon, July 2022, 118 call at 525 stop market. Also a good till cancel. Both sell to close, both good till cancel, both ready to go. We're going to go ahead and hit yes on this order. You didn't hear anything. That's because the order was accepted. It didn't fill, but if there was a problem, you would have heard order rejected. And this is on TradeStation, other services, other systems, not the same way, right? If we look at our option chain and we look at received, here's our order. On, we go to manage under the option chain and we are on TradeStation 10, by the way. So there is our order. We have a stop market at five and a quarter and a $9 good to cancel with our GTC is our uh trade the way it's set up right now so now there are ways that you could trigger this off of a stock price instead of an option we'll do that in a, another video which will be a little bit more advanced than what this one is but we'll take you into the activation rules uh, and show you how to work them there so folks if you're looking to reduce your time in the markets and set up your option trades in trade station and just walk away this is the way to start until next time make it a profitable day Stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it. And remember, you're just one trade away. Check out another one of our trainings right over here.